Welcome to Security Tube Question Time. Today we've got Steve from Ultimate Tools with us and we're going to ask him first and foremost about the history of the company and how it came about. Hi Steve. Hi. Um, tell us how Ultimate Tools came about because uh, there's a lot of sort of rumours flying around the marketplace about how the company got there and what it's actually doing at the moment. Yeah sure, uh, obviously um, the tool come about and the company come by about by us actually developing a, a tool uh, to overcome a challenge that was on the market in our area. Uh, our local, one of our local customers, uh, a council, obviously uh, wanted us to overcome a challenge that they have and being a typical locksmith we needed to overcome that challenge so then over a few, like three or four months we developed the tool. Tell us more about the challenge. Was, was, it, was it something that was not the normal sort of thing for a locksmith? Uh, well, as not really a normal thing, uh, locksmiths come up with challenges all the time and have to overcome them. And we had uh, Subaru's letterbox kit, which is a very, very good tool and has been for the last 20 years. But then dealing with the challenge with the uh, Phase 2 girder door, uh, obviously Subaru's letterbox kit uh, wasn't good enough for the challenge, so we had to think outside the box. Okay, so you're talking like a locksmith rather than a tool manufacturing company. Can you explain a little bit more about that? Yes, certainly. The, why I'm talking like a locksmith is because I am a locksmith. I've been oh, a locksmith right. about 17 years. Uh, I've got my 15 year badge of being a locksmith. I'm a member of the actual locksmith association. I've got my right. certificate. Uh, but the, I'm talking about locksmith because a tool really generally is a locksmith tool and was developed to be a locksmith tool. Okay, so why not use the Super Tool? You're saying it's a very good tool? Very good tool, but it had its limitations. Okay, so what about the girder doors, you say? Yeah, what was it about the girder door that the Super Kit didn't do, which made you think about, obviously, the ultimate letter I was talking about? Uh, well, obviously, I needed to turn uh, the turns on the inside of the girder doors uh, very, very quickly in an emergency situation. And the only way of uh, on the super kit, okay, there was two ways that super kit could have done it. Uh, was one was obviously by using the snare, which is basically uh, a rubber um, cord, and which use a, a cable either side to drive a turn. Mm -hmm. uh, it works very good in certain situations, but in a hurry, you want to do it's quite cumbersome to use. Right. So when would you need to use it in a hurry then? Uh, where obviously. Um, uh, anybody's fallen over in the inside and the paramedics need to get in quickly or in a situation where the police and the fire brigade are there and then they need to access, access the actual property quickly. And you'd obviously come up against situations like that, hence you developing the tool? Yes, we had come up against situations like that, so we had to develop the tool. Okay, so what made you develop the tool? Was it, did you obviously look on the market to see if there was anything to actually do something or do a bit of research, see if there was a tool that could already do that? Well, being in the locksmith trade for quite a few years, yeah, I was with my actual uh, ear to the ground. I knew roughly what was available. So we did look on the market, obviously, to see what was available within the actual local wholesalers and everything. Mm -hmm. Because I'm a very busy locksmith, the last thing I want to be done is obviously for me to uh, waste my time yeah, in developing a new tool. If I could already buy a tool off the shelf, I would have done so. Okay, brilliant. So the tool, I can see you've actually got one uh, with you today, with this little light turned on facing the camera. Um, do you want to sort of show us roughly what it actually does? That, well, the, yeah. that what uh, wasn't I mean, on there before? Because this, obviously this doesn't look like a super tool. No, this isn't a super tool. If, in the, if you actually look at the tool itself, uh, without trying to be a, like salesy or um, to try and sell something, basically this is a, uh, a redevelopment of a super tool. Our original, um, like version, our original version of it, basically uh, was designed to go onto Subas Tool itself. Right, so you say a redevelopment of Subas Tool, isn't that copyright? Uh, no, it wouldn't be a copyright. A redevelopment, obviously, uh, of Subas Tool. Subas Tool has been around over, for over 25 years now. 20, Sorry, not years. copyright, uh, design right. Uh, a of sort of well, the breach of design right. rights, obviously you have to understand the uh, design right laws and also patent laws before you understand where, if I was copying him and, and infringement of his design rights. Um, not really, because design rights are how the tool uh, looks, mm -hmm. uh, how it appears, and um, not what actually what it does, but how it looks. 
Okay, uh, I mean, I've done a little bit of research anyway, and I had a look at the uh, the old super tall, which looks quite a bit like a, a dinosaur compared to this. This looks pretty much amazing. So, what is it different about this tool that the other one doesn't do? Because none of this stuff was on the uh, super tools. Super tools was just almost like two bits. That was it. I mean, there was obviously no drive shaft anywhere, was there? No. We like start going back to our original question. The reason why we move this for the girder doors we needed something to turn quickly so we our original uh, prototype uh, was a basic flexi drive which was very flexible not stiff uh, it was designed just to turn turn so it, and we designed it so we could have a quick release chuck so we can put different heads in it to do what we wanted it to do okay amazing bit of kit thank you very much Steve my pleasure thank you very Cheers. much thank you